Here's the band. This band, I'm telling you, is fire. I love that color. I love the copper. I love how full this is. Every part of it is the design. I love it. This is a band that's worth praising. Now, this band might look like nothing, but I like the choice of color. I think this choice of color is really, really cool. This when cigar I first... is going to be gone for a little bit because Cameroon tobacco, it's going to be lack of production a little bit. And I do when have... you smell this, it smells some, some sort of firewood already. It was blended by Alec Grava, the son of Louis Grava, who is going to be the new blood, which is literally the name, uh, Sanguine Nueva, of the families to, to, to you know, the next step for the, the, the cigar adventure career, however you want to call it. You know, yeah. now if you can find them. You... Every single day. guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, we're doing some cigar that has been out for a little bit. It is the Sangue Nueva. And the one I'm going to smoke today is going to be the, the Double Perfecto. So. Now, this cigar has been out for a while. It's not a new cigar, but I figure... That, you know, since we just had a Miami Me, I went to uh, a, a Cueva's family's house. And this is the one I brought back. And I want to smoke it. I want to make some video for it. Because this cigar is going to be gone for a little bit. Because Cameroon tobacco, it's going to be lack of production a little bit. And I do have mine still. There you go. So I have my in the size of Robusto and the Double Perfecto. And my favorite is actually the Double Perfecto. I think that size is sexy. I like the color. I like the way it is. Um, in terms of the price, this one is 1475 MSRP. Okay. Uh, the size is 6x58. 6x58. The wrapper is... Some people want to call this Toro Extra. Toro is actually the size I didn't get, which is funny because eh, it's not that much different. So this one's got Ecuadorian Cameroon and uh, Honduras Corojo. And filler is Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Pennsylvania Broadleaf. And most interesting, there's a little bit of Kentucky Fire Care in here. All right, so very beautiful cigar. When you smell this, it smells some some sort of firewood already. It smells like some sort of firewood. It's got that smell to it. So, let's get started and, and light it up. Let me see. The cutter. Okay. Takes a little bit to light it up because it's had like the little tapered um, head or foot. So right away you get this, um, like I said, like firewood. And you get a little bit of pepper. Oh my god. You get this like uh, weird sweetness. Um. And a little bit woodsiness as kind of weird aroma combination. Uh, there's a little bit of citrusiness too. Uh, a little bit of mm, 
a little bit earthiness. Um, maybe a little bit leather. And bread. And that's what's going on right now. So, it will take a little bit until this thing kind of fully gets all the tobacco. And once it gets together, I'll be able to give a better assessment. So, let me smoke through one third. And we'll be right back. And then we'll talk about everything about this cigar. Be right back. Okay, so... A little bit into one third, like, you know, probably just about one third. There's a lot of flavor. There is there is definitely sweetness. There is definitely woodsiness. There's a little bit of that barbecue wood. There's a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. When you're about to take a retro hill, you can actually taste that chocolate. Um, there's a little bit of bread. There's maybe a little bit of espresso, but it's towards the sweeter side of espresso. Um, you know, it's in the beginning how it burns. It it really kind of forces you to take you know 10, 15 puff really quickly, which um, gets you to slowly taste all the flavor that is within this thing. And I, and I kind of like the cigar already um because the fact that it does it's not just you know san andreas wrapper and bra leaf and stuff like that this one uh I, um it was blended by alec Greva, the son of Luis Greva, who is gonna be the new blood which is literally the name uh somewhere new River, of the families to 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 you know the next step for the 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 cigar adventure career however you want to call it and he played with it he actually blended different than anybody else would have right so he put them all together and said let's have a little bit of kentucky fire curing here and and that worked out you know it's interesting it's got a little bit of all kind of flavor now the strength is somewhere between the median to full okay and you kind of have to Smoke it in a way, you know, enjoy the whole badassness, but slowly, right? Uh, I like the cigar right now with the flavor and everything because it's got sweetness. It's got like a little bit of a different uh, flavor that's going on. But one thing about the cigars, I think the cigar smoke is not that thick. It's not that thick. It has a lot of cigar smoke, but it's not that thick. Which is fine. I'm just like, you know, in terms of badass cigar, you know, you want the smoke to, right? But I think that if they do that, add any more to this, to get that thick smoke as strength, this might be too strong. So I think that they, they stop where, where it's perfect right now. All right, where it's perfect right now. Okay, so... Yeah, it's got a lot of flavor. The family is testing something out new, you know. And I like how the earthiness is not really strong. But the woodsiness is a little bit stronger, which cuts with that citrusiness. And so it's not overwhelming. Like it's got the all kind of like flavor going on. It's kind of confusing, but it's not overwhelming. There's not a lot of pepper. There's only like a, li uh, a little bit, like a pinch of pepper here and there, so... Definitely a good cigar, but unfortunately, you want Cameroon tobacco. Now you had to wait. So, you know, now if you can find them, you grab them. You grab them, right? Let me smoke the two third. Let's see if there's any transition. I'll be right back. All right, we're into the last third. So the second third, uh, the flavor kind of go down a little bit, mellow out a little bit. Uh, you get a little bit of um, a, some sort of floral taste to, to go with it. So it became a very smooth cigar. Uh, so in the beginning, you get a lineup of all the flavors. And then you get, now the second, third, you get that kind of winding down a little bit. They start to merge a little bit. And then you get this floral. So it become a mellow, uh, smooth, kind of nice, relaxing, chatting cigar. You know, and I, I, you know, you get to talk to people without having to pay too much attention on the flavor. 
because you get the flavors out there, but it kind of mellows out. So, very nice, very nice cigar. Now, let's show the first band. Here we go. Now, this band might look like nothing, but I like the choice of color. I think this choice of color is really, really cool. When I first saw this uh, on Half Wheel, uh, shout out to Half Wheel, they always have good information. Um, I, I look at the box that they have was literally showing this double perfecto. And I just thought that color is cool. That, 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 that thing is sexy. Like whoever came out with this color palette for this thing with the, with the copper coloring, smart. It's definitely a beautiful band. I, I like the way, like, you know, you, you test out color that you're not comfortable with or not often used. Not only that, is you know, it get the message there. You know, the five stars that um, they try to, you know, make sure people know that Alec is that five star, the fifth generation is going at it. Uh, and, you know, the whole brain in the center. And, you know, there's, there's not a lot. It doesn't even say Casa Cueva on this particular band, but you know it's Casa Cueva, right? You know is, uh, uh, you know, try to, to, to try something new. I like the second band. Uh, obviously, I'm going to show the, the main band later, but I, I like the way they choose this color. This color also gives you this like Wild West, you know, kind of uh, a feel to it. Like if you go into a really old bar with the, the swinging door and stuff like that, it gives me that feel like, you know, aged leather, wood, you know, on the wall panels and maybe the one hit sign, <laughs> that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, I like this. I like this band. I like this band a lot. So that goes with the second third of enjoyment with that band. Now I have last third left. Let's go smoke that. And then um, we'll go to the summary. But I like the way it is right now. Burns fine. Now the ash doesn't want to hold like a full ash. It kind of just like flower out. Like you can see that's like flare out. But it doesn't give me any burn problem. I smoke just fine. So, some of the Sangre Nueva I smoke has a solid line. This one just didn't want to do that. Could be the weather, you know. So, we'll see. Laster, be right back. <laughs> Finally, that took a long time to smoke this cigar. This cigar is like a two hour cigar. So, here we go. Finished up. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about this, all right? So, the Laster, you get mostly strength. So it ramped up between, like I say, between like medium, medium plus to full kind of thing that can go up and down here and there. But it really depends how you smoke it. And the majority of the reason why you feel like it's full is because this cigar is long. It's big. It's, it takes a long time to smoke. So, you know, it really depends on how you smoke it. But um, the, the second half, I mean, the last third, you get mostly that uh, barbecue, firewood-ish, and then kind of cross with some floralness. It's still pleasant. It's really pleasant. I also, from time to time, you get this, um, like, toasted peanut kind of, like, a nuttiness to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. It, it's a very dynamic cigar, in my opinion, because uh, that little bit of Kentucky Fire Cure kind of skews some of the flavor and plays around with it. So that sometimes you think it's one flavor, it's actually the other, and then that cuts over with that barbecue wood um, and and... Uh, a little bit of that sweetness. It kind of confuses you what flavor you're really tasting, but it's a really good cigar. So, here's the band. This band, I'm telling you, is fire. I love that color. I love the copper. I love how full this is. Every part of it is the design. I love it. This is a band that's worth praising because they fill up every part of it. There is no... Uh, empty space uh, or, or, or things that don't make sense. Everything here, beautiful, beautiful. And it's also embossed, so it's like, you know, textured. I like it. I love this color. I really do love this color. I would love for all the cigar company out there to play with the color of the bands and stuff like that because, you know, usually we see the red, we see the black. This is fire. This is fire. So, with that being said, is a cigar worth the money? Is cigar worth the money? Of course, it does. Uh, what else? What would have bought two boxes? That is totally worth the money. I think with a two-hour smoke, 
at that price range, I will buy it any day, especially uh, the flavor, dynamic, uh, uh, and, and how well it burns, how enjoyable, and definitely has presence, okay? So a lot of people smoke the cigar, um, has that present. You feel like you're holding a cigar. You feel good holding a cigar. Not like a tiny, 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 but like, you know, like a big cigar. And it, it gives you that feeling that you're smoking something of substance. You smoke something with presence. I like that. And I really like this shape. Whatever that, they, they say, hey, you know, let's do one of these shapes. I like the shape. So uh, I definitely think this is something worth to smoke. Now, am I a little bit biased on this? Maybe. Maybe. But that's the, that. I don't feel like my ex, excitement for this cigar swayed or got any less throughout the time that the cigar came out. Now, this cigar is not very suitable for me because how how long it takes to smoke, how strong it is. It's not my usual uh, smoke, but once in a while when I take it out to smoke, I enjoy it. I enjoy it completely. So, now I have to say, I feel like the Robusto are heavier somehow uh, than the Double Perfecto. Because when I smoke the Double Perfecto, I can smoke it all, all the way through without feeling too much being affected by the strength. But when I smoke the Robusto, it feels like... I kind of is being affected by it. I don't know. I don't know. And their, their Robusto is kind of like a funny size. Like that. It's like a fat Robusto. It's a fat Robusto. So the size is 4 and 3 quarter by 54. So, you know, it's, it's still got that substance. Like when you're holding on to it, it's still got that presence to it. So I like the cigar. Um, again, with everything that's good, there's always some criticism. And here's my criticism. The box is not actual wood box. That's my only criticism. And they, you know, obviously they want to go with the classic, you know, back in the day cigar box kind of thing. I, 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 I'm I, more into presentation. I like the way it looks. This thing will have been perfect if this is like solid wood box. That's kind of like, you know, somehow vintage aged into this color and decorated the same way. But... You know, it's a paper box. I understand. It is what it is. Only criticism on this cigar. Everything else looks good. It's just not criticism. Because I would, I like to keep a cigar in their boxes. So, you know, obviously this box is not going to seal. It's not going to have keep the humidity and all that stuff, which is uh, a downside for me. But everything else is good. Cigar smokes good. It looks good. Presentation is good. Structure is good. Taste is good. Box. Sorry, Lewis. The box bothered me. But everything else, great. Now, I would recommend you to find the cigar and get it while you can because I don't know when this video is going to be released, but Camera Room is going to be gone for a while. If you can find it, get one, smoke one, enjoy one. All right? So that's it for this cigar review. If you like it, please make sure to like, subscribe, uh, share, comment, do all that stuff. And I will see you guys next time.